Gideon's Brave Heart, The Battle Against the Midianites Once upon a time in the land of Israel, after a brave leader named Joshua passed away, the people forgot about God. They stopped praying and didn't follow his ways anymore. This made God very sad, and because of this, he allowed the Midianites, not very nice neighbors, to cause trouble. They burned down houses and farms, making it so hard for the Israelites that they had to live in caves. But there was one man, Gideon, who still tried to do his best. He secretly grew some wheat to make bread for his family. He had to be very sneaky, and thresh his wheat in a hidden spot near a wine press, to avoid the Midianites. One day, while Gideon was working hard, an angel came with a special message from God. The angel told Gideon that God wanted him to do two big things. First, God wanted Gideon to knock down his father's statue of a false god and build an altar for the true God. Gideon was scared but did it anyway because he knew it was the right thing to do. The second thing was even scarier. God wanted Gideon to lead an army against the Midianites. Gideon couldn't believe it. Me, lead an army. He thought. So, he asked God for a sign to make sure God was really with him. He put a piece of wool on the ground and said, If the wool is wet with dew in the morning but the ground is dry, I'll know you're with me. And guess what? The next morning, the wool was soaking wet, but the ground was bone dry. But Gideon was still a little unsure, so he asked for another sign. This time, he wanted the ground to be wet and the wool to be dry. And God did it again, now, Gideon knew for sure that God was with him. Gideon started with a big army, but God had a surprising plan. He told Gideon he only needed 300 men to defeat the Midianites. God wanted to make sure everyone knew it was his power, not theirs, that saved them. Even though Gideon was still a bit scared, God gave him a little sneak peek of the Midianites being afraid of him. Gideon and his tiny army then did something very clever. They took trumpets and jars with torches inside and surprised the Midianites in the middle of the night. They made so much noise and showed so much light that the Midianites got scared, ran away, and even fought each other. After this big win, the people wanted Gideon to be their king, but Gideon knew the truth. I won't be your king, he said. God is the only one who should rule over us. And that's the story of how Gideon, with just a little faith and a lot of help from God, saved his people. It teaches us that even when things look really tough, if we trust in God, we can do amazing things, just like Gideon did. The end.